Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? There's a massive BBC upset going around. We got the BBC Samurai situation with Assassin's Creed, with Ubisoft, the ghost of Yore, ghost of Tampon, ghost of Tsushima. That's a different video for another day, man. I, I, or I probably have that video out by now. I don't know which one is gonna go first, but like the video if you love your mama, guys. Like the video if you love God. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Gotta give everybody that equal chance, okay? But you're not gonna believe it. I got a video that I want to share with you guys and apparently we're getting new reports right now and we're hearing that the rumor okay this is a rumor but apparently coming from Endymion that Assassin's Creed Shadows originally featured a male Japanese character a main character and the game could be delayed even further oh, yeah and apparently what we're now hearing is that apparently they changed to Yasuke after the BLM situation. Not my opinion, guys. This is what's being reported right now. That's what we're hearing. Take it as you will. But they did that to virtue signal and, and all that. So they did use Yasuke. And of course, uh, we all know what they've done to Yasuke as well, man. He was apparently a straight man. Uh, and they done all that kind of crap to him, man. They changed him every which way they could. And, and once again, bro, I said it many times. If he was gay in real life or trans in real life, all the way back in like in the feudal Japan, then of course it would have made sense to make him as he was in the game. But these suckers were like, nah, bro, he black, so let's just do that. And the the rumors that are going around it was supposed to have a japanese main character originally but after blm happened they were like okay so we're gonna go attack uh, one bird uh it's like two stones one bird or one uh, two birds one stone yeah like that's the saying right like Bruh. i'm probably butchering it but you're getting it right so they're like okay we're gonna virtue signal uh, with, with that black yasuke character and we're gonna make him gay as well because he black right so they're being doubly racist using lgbt people as shields uh being racist towards black people and then of course being racist towards asian people because this game is set in feudal japan it's set in japan Sega's just wanted a japanese main character and by the looks of it they had it they had a japanese main character at one point but they changed it i don't know why they i mean i know why they changed it but let's just say i don't know why they changed it Bruh. and now this is what's going on shout out to the homie in demion tv and sh shout out to side scrollers roll it let's check this out so in my previous video, I explained that Paul Tassi of Forbes said in his article about the Ubisoft implosion that those yeah. extra months have been given to possibly reduce or even completely remove Yasuke from Assassin's Creed Shadows. My Ooh. source told me, however, see that? Okay, this was news to me. The idea of removing Yasuke as as in entirety, like that's balls crazy. The idea that and the fact that you do that in only three months, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. How uh, context, there are rumors going around that they're going to remove Yasuke right now to save fate. <gasps> But yeah, like, they only have three months for this game, so I don't think that's gonna happen. But what we're now also hearing is that the game could be delayed even further. Right now, they delayed it to, of course, February, right? And shocker, shocker, like, they're gonna release it in Black uh, Black Black History Month, right? So by the looks of it, they're not gonna remove Yasuke. I, to me, it doesn't sound like that they're gonna remove Yasuke. They're just gonna double down it. But this article if this is true they might delay it even further so this is just like their initial thing right so they do not upset the investors way too much because their stock has been dropping big time right so it's like a three months small three months delay is what they want it to be like but imagine it ends up being like a full-blown year delay so come like january they're gonna announce that they're delaying it even more because they need a little bit more time right and <laughs> And when the game comes out, they they have like a main Japanese character that they already worked on initially. Maybe we're gonna get that. And then of course they're gonna be like, they're gonna win a lot of fans back, but the damage has already been done. So I don't know how this is gonna go down, right? It's uh yeah, so it, it's like a pretty bad situation for them, to be honest though. How are you going to rework your entire narrative as this character was put in? But yeah. maybe you may be thinking to yourself, like, hey, why is he in this in the first place? Well, he's going to get to that. And your jaw's going to drop. For that they yeah. heard February. And, and listen, listen, man, like, if any of the my black homie watching this video, Brad, this is not against you, bro. Like, th these suckers be using you guys, like, and, and to push their agenda as well. And I accidentally clicked on this one here. But if you guys are into conspiracies and UFOs and crap like that, definitely check out the second channel I upload there mostly every other day and if you want to help support the channel consider becoming a member as well guys let's get back to the content here boo boo wait for it 2025 is simply a placeholder your jaw's gonna drop 
for that they heard February 2025 is simply a placeholder release date as of now. Apparently, Rip. this is because Ubisoft is scrambling and they need certain key talent in order to assist on a Q2 game release. Which, if you don't know what that means, there's four quarters to a calendar year, so Q2 means Ubisoft Summer. has something that they think will hit yep. that is coming out later in the year that they need help on. So be just... Why would Ubisoft think they have anything that's going to hit after fail, after fail, after fail, after fail, especially if it lines up with all this? That doesn't make any sense to me. That makes less sense than... than <laughs> Listen, man, pushing woke politics, bro, like, that's not the play right now, bro. Just make a good game and you don't have to worry about this crap. Concord, prime example, lost 400 million US dollars for Sony, bro. For <laughs> motherfucking Sony, bro. For PlayStation. That was their big game. And we heard that that was Herman House Baby, who happens to be the new... CEO of PlayStation. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's over. <laughs> it's over, guys. It is over. He's now the in charge of the Sony PlayStation right now, man. And I got the PlayStation as well, man. I play on the PlayStation, guys. I play on the PlayStation, man. Let me. Uh, I, I sound and look like Greencast guy when I hold the controller. Nothing but love to that homie as well, man. But like nothing but love to everybody. Uh, but like, damn, man. Like this is what happens when you suckers just want to push politics and narratives and virtue signal if you were gonna make a good game or you were gonna yeah if you were not thinking about like pushing politics uh, you wouldn't have to worry about none of it right now we're hearing like they might remove yasuke they might not they're they're delaying the game because there's so much like pushback right and that there's so much backlash and of course the game is not ready whenever when is ubisoft game ever ready at launch the answer the correct answer is never you know that's the only correct answer but this time they're probably delaying it and even after the delay the game whenever it comes out it's probably not gonna be ready but uh still still it's not gonna be ready but they're delaying it because yeah the backlash is really out of hands it's getting really out of hands <laughs> removing yasuke from the game that's oh, okay 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 because talent that the studio is working to make that future release come out more smoothly Shadows is not being given the extra hands it kind of needs right now, so like I said, the release date may actually be pushed back even further. I was Bruh. also told when they originally saw the Bruh. game, there was indeed a male Japanese protagonist with their own finalized art and even animations. Just stop for a second. What did you say? The original character was a Japanese character, finalized with his own art and animations. That's all everybody's ever wanted from this. That's, that's it. It was there. Oh, but why? Why would you make that change? They don't know if this character will be reintroduced in order to replace Yasuke, but they are skeptical that Ubisoft will actually remove Yasuke altogether due to the whole political, you know... Yeah, like, if they remove it, then... I don't... Just so little time, I guess, uh, they're, they're not gonna... And even if they remove it, there's gonna be another backlash, right? Yeah, the damage has already been done. It's a weird situation, man. A weird situation backlash they'll get from journalists so on can you imagine could you imagine who, care? who cares about the journalists man like damn just save your company man like sell your game bro like make a game for gamers simple as that like you suckers are using japanese settings so so it makes sense to have a japanese protagonist bro imagine the dumpster fire that would happen if they removed yasuke and put yeah. this asian yeah, yeah. lead in the game could you imagine the meltdown? They wouldn't know what to complain about. They would just be so, their, their brains would be fried. You can't remove the Yasuke, but he's Asian. Well, I don't even understand. The meltdown yeah, yeah, would yeah, be, yeah. oh my gosh, just it's gonna absolutely be insane. brilliant. But to be honest though, if they come out and they have a m Japanese protagonist, are you guys still, still gonna buy? Are you guys gonna buy the game then? I personally wouldn't unless they yeah see like I wouldn't even then I wouldn't because the damage has been done that's what I meant by the damage has been done but if it turns out like yes they got a Japanese male protagonist and the story seems good and once the game is out and people that bought it got nothing but good things to say about it which is very unlikely because it's a Ubisoft game right yeah minus the woke crap uh, it's Ubisoft at the end of the day the game their game sucks generally speaking but it, let's just say okay they correct what's wrong and then the game comes out and people got good reviews i'm talking people i'm not talking about the iGen because those suckers are gonna still give it eight out of tens and nine out of tens okay <laughs> <laughs> they're still gonna give it okay but if people got good reviews on it then okay i might consider then i might guys if you do make sure you guys hit the subscribe button do me a favor hit the uh, thumbs up button as well that'll help spread the word about this video appreciate that look it's gonna get even better
They did say that the game's first act is heavily story-driven until it eventually opens up to your more traditional open-world Ubisoft experience. And that the big hurdle there, if they were to remove Yasuke, would be to practically change almost everything about Act 1, so to speak, if they were to remove the character entirely. So mm. could they remove Yasuke with this already done but thrown aside Japanese character? It's a big maybe, but they said that they weren't sure of it yet. They all, all they'd have to do is, you know, rework the entire first act of the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad yeah. this is right now. It's over. Also it's told over. Me they heard I, I don't think they would. I don't think they would. They just don't have time unless they delay the game for like a year, year and a half, uh, something like that. Rumblings that Sweet Baby Inc. may have had a hand in Shadows, but they can't confirm that 100% yet. So take that allegation with a huge, big, fat shot of skepticism right now, okay? okay. But like I was saying, the uh -huh. game did first include a male Japanese main character, but they were swapped sometime during 2020, according to my source for Yasuke instead. Now, why would he be swapped sometime in 2020? Why would that... Hmm, let's just back up... I don't know, about four, four years or so. What happened then? So this is where stuff gets really weird and pandering, but hmm. I asked them... What influenced Ubisoft to make the change that they did from the original Japanese male character to now Yasuke? They said that Ubisoft was heavily influenced by the socio-political events of the time, with stuff like, and no I'm not kidding, George Floyd dying, the riots, and Black Lives Matter exploding in support. Which is literally everything everybody's ever assumed about this game. Every, everybody assumed it, and if you assumed it, you were called racist! Damn, man. Confirmed. I, I would say, like, uh, bruh, like, these things are insane, man. They openly are racist towards white people. Of course, they are racist towards Asian people because of the game. And they are racist towards black people as well. Make no mistake, man. Like, yeah, hip hop music did not exist. I love hip hop, don't get me wrong. And the, 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 the track that we had in Assassin's Creed was actually very good, but it's just that, bro, just because he black. Yasukas did that. Yasukas like, were like, okay, he black, so let's put hip-hop music in the game. We're talking about feudal Japan. Hip-hop did not exist back then. You guys know what I'm talking about. When he starts fighting, hip-hop music starts playing in the background. Don't make me play that clip again for you guys. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And they did that just because he black. And, he, and they also made him black just because he black as well, bro. These seconds are crazy, man. And of course, to them, brown people like me don't exist we don't exist bro like brown people like to them don't exist where is my representation at where is my representation representation can a brown man get its representation can a brown man get its representation i'm joking i don't i'm not dying to get representation guys unless it makes sense but like i'm not dying to get that what's the old saying about the conspiracy theory stuff the idea that the idea behind what's the difference with conspiracy theory e yesterday's conspiracies are tomorrow's truth and the truth, about six months. In this case, about four years. So don't shoot the messenger here, but this is what I was told by the source, but Ubisoft Holy. may have opted to include Yasuke in order to pander to identity politics because of Black Lives Matter. You don't say! I know, crazy. it's a hell of a statement. Crazy, Again, bro. they said they cannot confirm 100%. These suckers like crazy, man. Like, these suckers... Like I feel like the gamers right now, from all walks of life, are on the same page here, so I'm not too worried about it, but... But still, like, um, I, I need everybody on this one. Absolutely. We should absolutely just, bro, like, we, we gotta vote with our wallets. 110%, guys. There's no ifs and buts about it. If you want gaming to change, if you want them to stop being racist towards, like, all of us, yes, make no mistake, they are. If you just want good games like we used to get before, then we gotta vote with our wallets. It's gonna get worse before it gets better, but guys, it's gonna get better, though. I'm optimistic. I'm very optimistic. It's gonna get better, but it's gonna take time, and it's gonna n need your dedication as well. The battle is uh, halfway won by gamers, by, like, not buying Concord play or playing the Dustborn and all these woke trash, but you see games like Assassin's Creed are big. Games like Ghost of Tampon, Ghost of Tsushima are big. Now, again, though, like we talked in depth about it, uh, uh, of this situation, the game might turn out to be actually very, very good. And if that's the case, then of course, then it's a different situation. Uh, and if the female protagonist existed all the way back in 1608, like they're saying, okay. But again, like recently, I covered that story, so I don't want to take too long here. I covered that. 
uh, gamers have discovered, people went detective mode and discovered that they changed the... Because Ghost of Tsushima was made by men, so they changed it to female. Oh, shit. Oh, There's a picture of it. The protagonist behind the uh, the, the game, the actress and the mocap artist, the face of this person in the game is from a Wookiee. So she don't like men and uh, you know what I mean? She got a lot of those crazy types of tweets and yeah, so she, basically gamers are discovering all of that. And right now, like, there's a lot of drama surrounding Ghost of Tampon, Ghost of Yode. I would have a dedicated video on that already on the channel, if not right after this one. But wait for that, I guess, or check it out on the channel sent, if it's out. But they did say that they have seen the original Japanese hero character, and that they were actually mortified when they saw Yasuke for the first time in the Japanese hero game. Again, they said they cannot confirm 100%, but they did say that they have seen the original Japanese hero character, and that they were actually mortified when they saw Yasuke for the first time in the game. Apparently, one of the videos that Ubisoft was showing of Yasuke originally... You ready to laugh? <laughs> Are you ready to laugh? Okay, no. here we go. Once again, I just want to start this over really quick. The first time you saw Yasuke, they saw Yasuke. Here it is. ...time in the game. Apparently, one of the videos that Ubisoft was showing of Yasuke originally, and no, I'm not kidding you, was Yasuke destroying a grocery store property with his weapons in order to show the game's physics engine. But the source said that they couldn't believe how tone-deaf Ubisoft was, being considering they were literally showing a black guy in a foreign country destroying property. This lack of knowing what to do with shadows was all over the mm. game, and like I said, Yasuke was inserted. If that's not racist, bro, I don't know what is. Yeah, d -Sec is crazy. I gotta timestamp that if you're around this point of the video watching guys timestamp that so other people can find it i feel like that i'm gonna do it myself and try to but just in case you, you gotta you guys gotta do it okay you guys gotta do it timestamp this part in the comment section so most people get to see this part right because most people are gonna be in the beginning and then you know what i mean right like uh, not everybody's gonna stick around but if you are sticking around sticking around you're a legend, man. You're a legend. So, salute to Captain BBC this time? No. Salute to you, motherfuckers out there, man. Salute to the gamers out there, man. No. <laughs> but still, salute to Captain yeah. BBC! Salute to Captain... Nah, salute to the real Yasuke, bruh. Because Yasuke is no longer with us, and he cannot come down here and defend himself, bro. This is insane on just a million... It's insane million for a million different reasons, bro. They made a dead man what he's not. And he cannot come down here and defend himself, bro. This is insanely disrespectful, bro. Yeah, bro, insanely disrespectful. What? Imagine they do that to you. Like, you pass away, and then you're in heaven, and you're like, bruh, like, you know? See, Ubisoft gonna make a game about me. If you're an atheist watching and you're like, heaven, hell, don't exist, okay, whatever. Let's say you pass away, okay? Let's, you pass away, and then tomorrow, Ubisoft make a game on you, and they tell the world what you're not. And they're like, yeah, bro, his... Uh, Maybe you, like, did some amazing, right? Ubisoft was like, nah, bro, his biggest achievement was him being gay. <laughs> and if you were gay in real life, then okay, it makes sense to make you as you were in game, right? But if you were not, they were like, nah, bro, these suckers are straight phobic, man. I don't know what, the, what these suckers got, man, like, why they have a problem with straight people. Like, damn, man, like... ...for identity political reasons. The source also... Nothing says... Fun, authentic experience, like inserting a character for social. <laughs> Fun, authentic experience, like inserting a character for social. <laughs> political reasons, in a game based on feudal Japan. Okay. So said that Ubisoft was horrified by the response to Yasuke from the fandom, <laughs> and they actually thought including him would be a really big selling point for the game. How out of touch! They apparently believed by inserting Bruh. Yasuke that they could garner and pander to the modern audience, which is cringe. It, as, is yeah, that, that's the thing. This is something that we have talked a lot about. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. What I mean by this is that games do take years on years of development and you know this game was in development for years and recently concord happened that game was in development for eight years they lost uh eight years of work on that and 400 us mil uh, 400 million us dollars <laughs> and there are probably other games we saw fair fair games right marathon another one of those woke trash looks like concord 2.0 right so yeah those games gotta come out or maybe they're gonna delay them and maybe rework them so they can make some money back you know what i'm saying because if they release his asses gamers not gonna buy it. gamers oh hell now nah. gamers ain't gonna buy that crap you crazy you crazy so now all of them are panicking this is why i said the battle is 
one halfway. We just gotta keep on voting with our wallets and eventually they're gonna learn and they're gonna stop making the games for modern audience. Modern audience don't exist, bro. Make it for gamers. Simple as that. You're making a game, make for gamers. Buddy. Is that is that them? Nope, that's not them. It has anybody seen the modern audience? Does anybody has anybody ever seen them? Anybody ever seen? Like, and I understand people say they go, "Hey, hey, the modern audience is they're they're the next generation up." This is an M-rated game. This is an M-rated game, so kids can't play this. The, the, the idea of developing the modern audience, right? I understand that premise, right? But this is an M-rated game, so the implication here is that the modern audience exists right now, and that they're pandering to it. This game is being rejected to half court and say, "Okay, we're we're almost done. This is this is nuts." But yes, these studios are still trying to pander to these groups that, like I've said so many times, they literally do not exist. Another very damning allegation I was told by sources was that compared to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, that Shadows has only about 7% the pre-ordered numbers of Valhalla during the same time period. Yes, you heard that right, guys. 7% of Valhalla. Sounds so familiar. that other report where Stuttering Craig of Side Scroller said Shadows only had about 800 physical pre orders over about 900 plus stores in America. He is telling <gasps> the truth, my friends. I do not lie. I will not lie to you about pre order numbers. There are way more important things to lie to you. 7%. No way. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I mean, that's a good thing. That's a good thing, don't get me wrong. But I'm shocked, actually. I'm I'm shocked. I am shocked. And nah, this, this is one of those days I'm actually shocked. I didn't think it would be 7% in comparison to Valhalla numbers. Holy. Gamers rise up. Gamers rise up. Gamers, okay, well, gamers well. are killing it, man. Absolutely. Don't pre-order this piece of trash game, bro. We deserve better than that. We had better games, like, years ago, decades ago, bro. We, yeah, gaming industry is like a shithole right now, bro. It needs to get better. Like the video if you like it. Ch don't watch this video, guys. This is like host of tampon situation that I was talking about. Another drama. Check it out or don't watch it, I should say. Don't watch it. If you're like hyped for that game, don't, don't watch it, okay? But check out the video on the left. Check out the video on the left and I'll see you right there.